We've got three different product lines that we think you guys will absolutely love. So one of them being a backyard office or a she shed. Now, who on earth wouldn't need some extra space? It's technically per building code considered a shed. So this will be very easy in order to get permitting and everything to your lot. So essentially, if you want to run your backyard office, if you want a little she shed for your own space, kind of like a relaxation space, a little meditation space, whatever it may be, this unit is 160 square feet. And essentially, you can turn it any way you want to. You'll have drywall, you'll have electric hookups, you'll have all the things, all the bells and whistles, heat and AC, so that that way you can use it comfortably. So that is one of them. So backyard office slash she shed slash whatever else you want to call it, shed, whatever it is, you've got your own room that you can basically plant in your backyard and have that space for yourself. Now, the other two product lines that we've got, we've got a 20 foot container as well, and that is actually the studio container. So you can have one full bath, one kitchen, and one bedroom in there. So we've got that option for you as well. That will be classified under the accessory dwelling unit code. So we would have to check with your local building department and see what works and what different things that they want for that. But most typically, you'll need to get permits for it, get the approvals, put a concrete foundation down for you, and then essentially we just come, drop it in, and it's done. That's the studio container. And then a little bit bigger than that, it's actually double the size, is a one bedroom, one bath, and kitchen, basically a full, full blown one bedroom unit um, as well. So depending on what you're looking for, we've got three different options, a backyard office and the she shed, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got the studio, 20 foot studio container. So that is its own like dwelling unit on its own. It's a lot smaller because it is a 20 foot con container as opposed to a 40. And the 40 foot container is double that. It's a one bedroom unit. So that also would fall under the accessory dwelling unit code. So it's same things, the process would look exactly the same. Get the permits for it, get that concrete and run the utilities, get that concrete foundation in. We come, we drop it off. You enjoy life to the absolute fullest once you get your unit placed in your backyard. So those are pretty much the three product lines that we would go into. Now, it really varies. You know, we really want to understand what your goals are, right? So if you're like, I just need some more space because I'm working from home, I'm gonna recommend the backyard office to you. It's gonna be the easiest one to get out to you. And the beautiful thing about all three of these options is that there's an eight to 12 week delivery time for you guys. So I come from a background of construction for the last decade. A renovation or addition or anything like that usually would take anywhere from six to 12 months. And nobody really wants to be living through construction. You kind of just want to get something have it ready, not have to worry about it, and go from there. And that's exactly what each of these units can actually provide. So if you're wondering what the process really looks like, it's really that. The container comes ready, and it gets dropped off at your house on the concrete pad and pretty much ready to go. Like, there's really not much construction going on. Prior to that, if there is, so for the accessory dwelling units, you will need to install utilities then set the foundation and then we come and drop off the actual unit itself and connect everything and then you're good to go but the whole process is anywhere from eight to 12 weeks which is amazing no construction company is going to beat that if you do i don't know let's have a conversation if you're watching <laughs> if you're watching this but that's really uh, our production time and, and how we can get quickly we can get it to you but depending on your goals it's that's that but the adu may need extra permitting time so i do want you to allocate time for that because you do if you do have to go through the municipalities it could take a few months so make sure you put that in but in terms of placing the order and getting it to the site it's eight to twelve weeks so keep that in mind when you're thinking about timelines and, and things like that